Okay, so the first thing you need to know when you want to start playing the piano uh, is just the names of the notes, okay? So I want to give you an easy way to figure out uh, what you're looking at when you look down at a piano, because I know sometimes it can get kind of confusing. There's this zebra of white and black notes. So the first thing I want you to identify is a group of black notes that, uh, there, there, that there are two of. So like these two, there are two here. So you notice that the black notes group into either groups of two or three. So two, three, two, three, right? Three, two. So what I want you to do is find a group of two, and the first white note that's right to the left of that group of two, right here, you see how it's really, really close, right here. That's a C, and that's gonna be true no matter where you are on the piano. So here's a C, 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 all the way up and down the piano. Anytime you see a group of two black notes, the first note right to the left is a C. Now the reason I'm starting with C instead of like A, which is my, you might think would be normal since the alphabet starts at A, is just because when we start learning scales and other stuff, C is like the easiest, um, the easiest scale and note to work with, so it's, it makes sense as a logical starting point. So anyway, what you, all you really need to do is find this C here, and then knowing that the notes are uh, labeled either A, well, A through G, only the white notes, A through G, if this is C, we can kind of figure out, figure out where everywhere, everything else is, right? So if this is C, here's B, and here's A, right? So if we start at A, that's like where the alphabet starts, and we go up to G, we can find all the white notes. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and now we start back over at A. So take a look at it for a second. We started down here at this A, and we got to G and we started back over at A, you'll see that they look very similar in, uh, relative to the groups of black notes that they're in. So if you look at this group of three, the A note is the one that's sort of nested almost to the right here. And that's also true up here. See, group of three and this A note is here. So, so I hope, hope that makes sense to you. All the, the labels for the white notes are something either A through G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you start over. Uh, if you think about the groups of three black notes, the first note that's right to the left of that is F. So if you want a quick way to quickly know, by just by looking down at the piano, what note you are playing, you look and find a group of two, the first note to the left is a C. And if you find a group of three black notes, the first note to the left is that of that is uh, F, the first white note. Okay, so just as a quick review, C, D, E, F, G, A, and then C again, all right? Now if you wanna play any of the black notes, all you have to do is name them relative to the white notes. So we'll take a look at this note right here, for example. Since that's right in between an F and a G, we know we can call it something that's either related to the F or the G. So if you wanna call it an F sharp, an F sharp means it's, an, it's a little bit higher, a little bit more to the right than an F. And so this is the closest note that's uh, to the right of F. So we can call that an F sharp. Now we could also call it a G flat or, the, or a, a note that's a little bit further to the left from G. It's not a straight up G, it's like a little bit less than a G. So that's what the flat means. A little bit to the left, a little bit deeper. So you could call this a G flat or an F sharp. So here's a little quiz, I guess. What might you be able to call this note? This is a D and this is an E. So think about it for a few seconds. What could we call this note? All right, I'm just gonna tell you. The answer is you could call it a D sharp or a little bit to the right of D, or you could call it an E flat, a little bit to the left of E. Okay, so that's pretty much how you can figure out all the names of the notes here. So we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and if we look at this note, we have C sharp or D flat. We have D sharp or E flat, F sharp or G flat, G sharp or A flat, and A sharp or B flat. And that's it, those are the names of, of the notes. You can do that in any octave. So C, 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 and all the way up and all the way down, they're labeled in the exact same way. So hopefully now when I'm referring to the notes, you know what I'm talking about.